The default installation of JEdit includes some settings that um, I usually change right off and so I'm going I'm to show you what those are because the, you may want to do that as well and uh, first of all we'll just quickly take a look and see what the version is. I'll go to help and then about JEdit for documentation purposes the one I'm working with is 4.3 pre-15 with and I'm using Java 1.6.0 underscore 03 alright now um, we'll go to the options by going to utilities and then global options okay the uh, under the JEdit node I want to make sure plugin manager is selected and it used to be that when I first installed JEdit this list was blank and so anytime I tried to download plugins they would uh, it couldn't find them and I didn't know why until I finally realized I had to come to this screen and hit update mirror list and then that gave me my mirrors and then everything worked from there so that was just one of those things you have to do after installing JEdit the last thing let me cancel out of this is to um, change the way JEdit handles backups um, I'm gonna go to the same option screen but this time the more commonly way I access it is by this icon here the global options icon I'll hit that instead of where I was before I'm gonna go to saving and backup and you can specify a backup directory which I recommend um, and it will put backup copies of what it'll basically re um, recreate the structure of what you're doing but in this backup folder so it's a terrific way to to keep your work as a saved copy but backup file name prefix and backup file name suffix um, if you uh, don't specify the backup directory it puts the backup file in the same directory you're working in so if you're working in a production environment where you don't want extra files popping up then that's the problem I'm addressing here so by putting in that path and I went ahead and blanked out the prefix and suffix fields um, then that kept those files from appearing in a production type environment or a test environment or a shared environment where there other people are looking at the files as well so uh, that's really all and you can look you can even change the number of backups that you that you do and uh, you can set an auto save but but the main deal was putting a path in here um, so that it saves the backups in somewhere else other than the active file location and uh, that's really all there is that I do to jedit upon installation